Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode of the effect series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a school effect in Pearl Draw with simple steps which I will be guiding you through. So if you don't mind, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'll go over to File, click on File and click on New to create a new document, right? So for this, I'll be giving it a gold effect. So I'll just type gold effect. And um, we'll be working with RGB like we've done in previous videos, right? So um, over here, I'll be setting my, I'll be using pixels as my standard unit of measurement, right? Instead of inches like we've done before, right? So with this, I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 pixels. So if you don't have yours, just type 1920 by what? 1080 pixels, just like this, right? And um, resolution stays at 300 and everything else stays the same, right? So just click OK. So if you've done the right thing and um, you've done it well, this is what you should be greeted with when you are inside of the interface, right? So let's get started. First thing we want to do now is double click on the rectangle tool just like this. I'm going to zoom to fill up the page like this. That's F4 on your keyboard. So when you're like this, just press F4 on your keyboard or function F4 on your keyboard as the case may be. So I'll just go ahead and uh, remove the outline, give it a white color for now, for now, that's the first thing. So I'll go ahead to my text tool and I'm going to quickly just type gold, right? And I'm going to change the font to the one I use. And guys, as usual, the resource file for this video is in the description of the video. So just click on the link, it takes you to where you download the resource file from, right guys? And if you still don't have CorelDRAW at this time, please go to the telegram group to get this software form right so um i'll go over and um, change this to the fonts that i used so i'll just go over and change it to extra bold this is the fonts that i used right so i'm just going to do myself a favor and make this bigger because i can't work that small size like that so i'm just going to leave it like this guys and now first things first like i said before the resource file is in the description of this video so i'll go ahead and open my resource file for this video right so the first thing i want to use is this cloth like effect that looks like gold right remember we're creating a gold effect right so this is an example of what um gold can actually look like so the kind of colors we have here looks somewhat like gold right so now what we're going to be doing um, is very, very important and the most delicate part of this particular video. So I would want you to watch and watch closely, right? So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to take out my colors I'm going to use for this good effect from this um, background itself. So what I'll do is I'm going to create rectangles of tiny boxes here. So this is the first one. Second one, after I do this, I'm just going to press control arrow like this why so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to sample different variations of colors from this image right here this image right here this one right so i'm going to go in from light to dark or dark to light as the case may be so let me start from dark to light so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my color eyedropper tool i'm going to select it and i'm going to pick the first color here which i'll be using which is this color here right you can see the value as i'm selecting it that's the good thing about the eyedropper too right so i'm going to select this dark part here and i'm just going to click it like this and i'm just going to fix it like this right so after selecting that the next thing i'll go do is i'll go back to the picture and go back to my eyedropper too i'm going to select the next light lighter color to that color which is this one here i'm just going to select i'm going to put here instead of going back to my pick tool and my eyedropper tool back and forth i'll just hold down my shift key right so it alternates from the eyedropper to the paint bucket right so i'm just going to go there still holding down my shift key guys hold your shift key down like this right so as you can see now the value that i have here is quite different from what i have here can you see so i'll just come here and select this color here and apply it to this here and uh, hold down shift again i'll come here and select this color here and i'm going to apply it here right 
so i'm just going to create an extra one this is for the highlights so i'm just going to duplicate this one ctrl c and ctrl v make duplicate copy of this and drag it up here like this and i'll go over to my hydro part tool now i'm going to select the lightest part of this image which is something you have here i'm just going to select and with the pen bucket selected i'm just going to put the color there right so i'll just select everything and remove the outline right good f4 so i'm seeing everything in full screen right so basically um i wouldn't be needing this um image again because i've sampled the right colors i'm supposed to sample for this gold effect right but for reference you can still leave it and for mine i'll still leave it like this and just so we see it until i'm able to apply the full effect on this code so now let's get down to business so with this one now i will change the background to black then the gold here which is the text that i used i'm going to change it to what white for the meantime right so let's get started the first color i'm going to be adding to this design is this middle color here which is this one so i'm just going to go back to my color eyedropper i'm going to be using the color eyedropper tool for this exercise a lot so i'm going to come here and click it and select this color sample it and apply it to the text like this right right you can add, you can also come down here and see the colors that you've applied before like in this case this is this color here and just click on it and apply the color or you can use the color eyedropper tool way that i've just showed you so the next thing i would like to do is i'm going to click on g on my keyboard which brings out which activates the gradient tool as you can see it's the bucket but as you can see here the interactive field tool has now been activated so if you cannot do it that way just come down here and uh, select the interactive field tool which is this one here but for me i would rather use my shortcut which is g on the keyboard and as you can see now it's now activated now the next thing i would like to do is i'll come up here where i have my fountain field and i'll just click on this first one fountain field now in previous video where we've always done elliptical and love that we'll not be using this here now we'll just stick to what just the fountain field just this first one now the next thing i would like to do is i would like to add more points as you can see now it's activated you have this straight line across the g to the d right so what we'll be doing is we'll be adding points to this straight line so how do you do that very very simple when you go close to the line when you see these four anchor points just double click on the line like this and voila it has added new line so i'll just go ahead and add nine extra lines to what i have presently so i'm going to start here so one two three four five six seven eight make sure it's nine guys nine so you can see now i have nine plus the one i have currently that's what all together that is 12 altogether right so next thing i'll do is i'll be filling these individual spaces with different colors now i would like to start with this one here right so i'll click on this node as you can see now I'll click on it and um, immediately you click on it you see a drop down color for the node color right this is this particular color in this area right so what i would like to do is i'll click on this drop down arrow right let me zoom out so i will see because i'm working with the palette i have here so i'll click on it click on this drop down arrow and uh, with the eyedropper tool here i'm going to select click on it and select this color right so that's how you apply that part to it right so i'm going to zoom out zoom into your scroll wheel i'm going to click on this part too and i'm going to change the color click on this node and use the color eyedropper tool and i'm going to select this region this one this one in the middle i'm going to select this color here and apply to it as you can see gradually our gold effect is beginning to come alive right so um i'm just going to do the in-betweens um come here select it and click on the eyedropper tool i'm going to use this color here right so definitely when you have a dark color and also a dark color here what we should work on is the highlights right you guessed right so on this one i'm going to click on it and i'm going to select click on the eyedropper tool guys and select this first one right but for this one i'm going to click on it and i'm going to select the eyedropper tool and select what this first highlight now now i'm going to double click on this point here and i'm going to add 
and extra highlights that's for this one here so i'm going to click on it like this drop down this arrow click the eyedropper tool and what i'm going to select this highlight part this is the highlight for this part so i'm going to do the same for all these other ones here so for this one i'm going to change it to click on the eyedropper tool i'm going to change it to this one here right now for this part i'm going to change it and click on the highlight part and i'm just going to use the lighter shade of colors here so i'm going to click on this one to create the outline the highlights to create the highlights so i'm going to click on this part since i have a dark part let me make this darker select it and i'm going to click this part here right and i'm just going to add the lighter parts going forward like this i'm going to change this one to click on it drop down the arrow click on the eyedropper to and click on this i'm going to click on this to click on this and i'm going to select this and click on the eyedropper to and i'm going to select this one also right so as you can see guys if i zoom out you see that um the gold effect we are having here click on the um pick tool it's somewhat um it's resembling what we have here right guys good so i'm just going to balance it all by adding extra lines and i'm going just going to change the colors i'm going to click here and uh, i'm going to keep adding some extra lines just to fine tune what i have here already so i'm just going to apply this and um, i'm just going to go on to apply the highlights and um spice it up more you can also adjust these um, nodes you have here by just clicking and shifting like this so if you feel the uh, the um, effect you have in that region is too much you can actually shift it and uh, make it less obvious so I'll add one here but with this one I'm just going to make it this like this right so as you can see now this is the nice gold effect that we have but this is just the first step of things to come right so i'll just press f4 so i'll see everything i'm doing in full screen so having done this i don't need uh, to make use of this again so i'll just click on it and click on delete to get rid of it so i can have my whole workspace to myself very very important all right guys having done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the outline of this particular image so how do we do that we're going to go over to our colors here and we're going to right click on the cyan right so right clicking on the cyan gives it a color here like this right but the outline is not that obvious right you can see the colors are very very faint on the outside but we don't want it that way we want uh, a more pronounced outline so how do we do that you come over here where you have your outline this thing that looks like a pen this is the outline and this is the fill the field is the color inside now what you want to work on is the outline so double click on this and i'll uh, just move this aside so i see what i'm doing well so this is the color the cyan we have here which will be changing soon but what we need to work on here is the width so it's set to a hairline so i'm going to click on this arrow the drop down arrow of course and i'm going to change this from five to eight right good so from five to eight so this is what i'm going to use right so i haven't done this i don't need to change any other thing here i'm just going to click okay right good now with gold c selected what you need to do is go over to object and go over to convert outline to object a shortcut for that is ctrl shift and q right so i'm just going to press it and immediately i press it i'm going to click out and i'll click back in like this so now what this has done is as you can see now it has converted the outline that we just added to an object so i haven't done this with the outline is selected i'm just going to drag up like this holding down the shift key i'm just going to put it somewhere here so what i'm going to do with this is very very simple right i'm going to click on this right and i'm going to press g on my keyboard now we want to apply a gradient field the same one we applied to this gold is what we are going to apply here so i'm going to click on g on my keyboard and i'm going to click on this one fountain fill right as you can see now it has applied the fountain fill but it's not the gold we want right so now to spice things up you're going to come up here where you have copy fill 
click on it and you're going when this arrow pops out just click on this one this gold like this as you can see now the same effect i have here has been applied to the outline but what we want to do is you know this effect is going from your left to your right um horizontally so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a vertical axis um um, gradient so what, what what i mean is it's going to go from here to here so right so with gc activated just drag like this and from this part to this part right so guys i'll do that again press g on your keyboard and just drag from on top like this to this point right this is how you change it so with this selected i'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard select this second gold press c and e on your keyboard and voila if you've done that the right way this is what you should have so this one is going vertical and the one on the gold itself is going the horizontal way right having done this i'm just going to click out just like this okay so before we go the last thing i want to do is to add our last element that i added to to add our last element to this design so what i would do is I'm going to go to my resource file and I'm going to click on this image here. I'm just going to drag and drop for drag and drop. If you cannot drag and drop, just always use file and use the import command inside of Corel Draw, right? So what I'd like to do is I would like to bring this on top like this and uh, make it bigger. Hold that shift while you increase the size like this, and uh, I'll go over to transparency to and i'm going to click on what screen guys screen 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 right so as it is now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this first one uniform transparency like this and i'm going to reduce it i'll just set my values to what 70 because i don't want this effect to be too much on it let's just leave it at 60. i think i like this effect on it right so i'm just going to make it 60 like this so what i'll do is i'm going to power clipping this inside of this black um rectangle we have here so i'm just going to right click on it and click on power clip when this arrow pops up just click on this and voila this is what you have but i'm just going to reduce it just so this area doesn't uh, get in the way of what we have here already so i'm just going over to where i have this i'm going to set the values to 80 and i'm going to click ok right so I haven't done this i'm going to click finish right i might have to want to um reposition this well and bring it up here and increase the size just like this and when i'm done i click on finish right um let me just put it in place well i think i want to bring this down a bit and voila so at this point i am now safe to increase the size as i want to be so it's just based on your preference so you can increase it and decrease it as you want but this is how you i just added that to the background to give it the depth right so guys this is how you can create a gold effect in coral draw all right guys so if you've liked this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please turn on the post notification so you miss any videos that i will be dropping soon right guys so and also like and share this video sharing is free sharing is fun sharing is actually good help someone that doesn't know how to create things like this don't be selfish with this knowledge that you have share with your friends share with everybody that you know i'll see you in the next video Thank you.